everyone, this is Millie. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I am preparing special juli alu bhaja or crispy julian potato fry. You know, one of my viewers, Mita, requested me to make this recipe. It is mainly prepared for beer body or in special occasions and festivals. I always enjoy this with rice and dal. So without any delay, let's start it. I have two potatoes and I already washed with water and I also have a bowl here with cold water. First we are going to peel off the skin and then put it in the water. Now put it into the water to avoid discoloration. I am using the knife and this is the conventional way but you can use grater or food processor and that will make easier and faster. Okay, so now I will take one and cut into thin round slices. So like this. I already cut it into round thin slices. See this? Now I will take couple of them. Cut it into julienne and it should be very thin and even slices. This will quickly get discolored. So I will put it into the cold water. Make sure that it is cut into very thinly and evenly. Now I am going to wash it thoroughly under running water. Drain out the water. Again wash it. I will heat white oil. And make sure to add enough oil because we will be deep frying the potatoes. I am using this red skin pinners and this will give you a really nice contrast when we add these in the fried potatoes. Oil is now hot. On medium heat, I will fry the pinners in this way. See this? Don't add the pinners with the potatoes while frying because it will quickly burn. That's the reason I am frying it separately and we gonna mix it later. Okay, so it's now done. I will drain out the excess oil. On medium high heat, I will fry the potatoes. Stir it little bit so that they are separated from each other. So it's now done. Don't fry it too much and you will hear this crispy noise. Put the heat on high and so that most of the oil is drained out. Now I will take it out. Wow, look at this. It's so crispy. Now I will add the peanuts. And I have this sea salt, but you can use the ordinary salt as well. I will sprinkle a little bit of sea salt. And the black pepper powder. Now mix it and we are done. You know, I can't resist this. I will try a little bit. Wow, it's so crispy and crunchy. Thank you Mita for reminding me of this recipe. You can enjoy this juli alu bhaja with steamed rice and dal. I love this alu bhaja and if you like it, don't forget to hit the like button. For more yummy recipes, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Have a lovely day.